Ugh, junk. More junk. Ah, I remember the day I bought these with the best of intentions, baking for my family. But ever since the Black Forest Cake incident of 2012, I've been banned from baking. It tasted more like a brick than a Black Forest. So, go with your strengths and use them outside. So these guys are gonna go on the wall vertically like this. If I was to plant in them now, it wouldn't look much chop. So I need to make a face to go across here. And I can't think of anything better and cheaper than a piece of ply. This is marine ply that I had lying around. When I'm finished, I'm gonna paint the whole thing up and give it a bit of tone to it. First thing I'm gonna do, trace my half moon. Now, because of the thick edge on the end of the cake tin, I need to come in the thickness of that and try and replicate it. Sand the edges down. Get rid of any little splinters. So just to make sure I screw where it's going to hit the timber, I'm going to mark out four spots evenly spaced where I can drill holes just behind that rim. Then I'm putting in about a 30 mil gauss screw and a pre drill the aluminium. That'll tie it all together and it'll create a vessel which will hold the plants. Now, I need to worry about drainage, but also need to worry about aesthetics. So I'm going to run a bead of liquid nails around the end and just finish it off with my finger because I'm going to paint the whole thing and you won't see it. Just using a drop sheet because I've got a spray and I want to protect my outstanding table. Now, because these are aluminium, I'm going to prime them first with a metal primer. Now, I've got a couple of different paints. I've got an enamel, which is a high gloss, and I've got a chalky finish. That's going to give it a little bit of texture and slightly variable colours underneath the sun. So I've started with the primer, which is a light grey, and I don't even mind if I still see a little bit of that because that'll make it look old and it'll tie the timber in with the tin. Now, we're planting succulents in these little babies, and the mortal enemy of succulents is overwatering. So I'll put some drainage holes in the bottom, and while I'm at it, I need to put one up the top so I can hang it. Just keeping with the kitchen theme, I've retired this bread knife to the garden. It's really good for chopping plants up and trimming off root balls. And with succulents, you can be quite tough with them, and they don't even go backwards. The best succulents are free succulents. Well, officially, my dream of making my own wedding cake is dead and buried. But they do look pretty special. This one here is quite sparse. It lets the foliage be the star because it's so unusual. This one here is very busy. It's got some cheap plants in there that I pinched out of my own garden. And this one here is just right. It's got nice colours, plenty of foliage. It's really quite interesting. And it's smaller and cuter. Now I just need to find a place on the wall. But who would have thought a cake tin as a planter? It mightn't taste delicious, but it's succulent.